why Grover Cleveland presented the best example of a true libertarian populist. As the GOP grapples with its identity, we find ourselves caught between populism and classical liberal values like free markets and constitutionalism, searching for a balance amidst seeming contradictions. The party faces dilemmas such as regulating big tech, safeguarding blue-collar jobs without stifling economic freedom, and challenging political elites without undermining essential institutions, all while trying to maintain a populist stance. Surprisingly, Grover Cleveland, a Democrat, provides an exemplary model for Republicans seeking to harmonize populism with classical liberalism, having navigated similar challenges during his political career in the late 19th century. As the only president elected to non-consecutive terms, Cleveland emerged as a beacon of integrity during the corruption-ridden Gilded Age, prioritizing the public good over personal and political gains, demonstrating a blend of populism and classical liberalism. Cleveland's tenure as Buffalo's mayor showcased his commitment to fairness, famously vetoing a contract to a friend due to non-competitive bidding, reflecting his dedication to public service over personal connections. His presidency highlighted key issues like tariff reform in the silver debate, positioning lowering tariffs as a populist stance against economic privileges enjoyed by the elite, thereby aligning his policies with the interests of the broader public. Cleveland argued against inflationary policies, believing they would harm the working class by reducing the dollar's purchasing power, thereby aligning his economic policies with the protection of all Americans, not just the affluent. Despite his significant contributions, Cleveland's low-key, principled approach contrasted sharply with the often loud and demagogic style of many populists, focusing instead on principled service to the entire nation. In an era of political strife and division, Cleveland's legacy offers a blueprint for modern Republicans on how to effectively blend populism with classical liberalism, advocating for a governance model rooted in integrity and public service.